want to share with you guys what I have done with the hornworms uh, that I got two days ago. Uh, it, I got it from Great Lakes Hornworms, and um, they uh, seemed small to me. I mean, I was expecting them to be bigger, but it, it has really worked out well because I think their life cycle is maybe like a month before they turn into this big moth. And so if you get them all full, full grown, then they're not, I would assume they're not going to be lasting as long as if you get uh, the different variety of sizes. So what was in here was the different variety of sizes and I gave Sparky, uh, on the, I have on one of my videos, he ate uh, 11 of them. And see right here, you can see they're like all lined up on this mesh, it's pretty cute. Uh, so they, uh, by the time I feed Sparky again, I'm going to wait um, a total of three days unless Sparky shows signs that he wants to eat sooner. I kind of let him more or less dictate. He'll let me know, and he'll give me that look. <laughs> and so... Um, by the time I feed him, I, and see another thing about when you feed, about feeding your turtle, if you have like a large calendar and you put on there the date and what they ate, uh, and then um, you know you wait two days, and but see it varies with uh, sometimes turtles will want to eat every day for a while, and then sometimes it might be every three days. Uh, so it, it's just uh, they're very. Um, hard to uh, establish uh, just what, what their needs are really, but uh, I'm going to wait three days and I'm going to be pushing the greens again and I'm going to, I didn't give him any fruit the last time and he doesn't like fruit either uh, except for like fresh applesauce. Uh, he will eat a little bit of that. Um, so I'm going to uh, wait and by three days I should have enough of these that will be big enough and that's the, what the cool part about uh, what they sent is the different sizes and some of them's really small so you just you're feeding your turtle in stages so you will have um, the adult size or a pretty nice size uh, probably every three days so they're they're doing pretty well so anyhow, what I have in here is the tops of a carrot and uh, from our greenhouse, and I grated some carrots up. And what I did out of the center section where the food is, that, that comes like this, this is how it comes with the mesh and the lid. Well, I poked four extra holes, bigger holes in the top, see. Um, not big enough for them to get out, but the holes that's in it is so small, it didn't appear like they were going to be getting enough air as far as I'm concerned. So I, I gave uh, each one, I just used a, um, a um, ice pick and made these four holes in each one. So I added... Um, I've added a lot of different greens. I even added some dandelion greens um, in here. I, I've got barley grass that I have grown in bags. Uh, and there's some dandelion greens that I got from outside. You just want to make sure it's a pesticide-free area. And I have um, the uh, beet tops. And I, ha I put, sp uh, not spinach, I, mean, I, might, I might even have some spinach in here, to tell you the truth. Uh, I did notice uh, one attaching to uh, some parsley that I had in there. And I even have some broccoli in there. So I'm just kind of playing it by ear. I'm just basically, they've got themselves a salad in here. Uh, but what I also wanted to share with you is I cleaned out the poop. Uh, because like right here where they're eating, right in the center... Uh, well, the food actually goes all the way around, you can see here. But the sander part, it had a good bit of poop. So I figured, why not clean that out? I wouldn't want to have to eat on a poopy surface. So I cleaned it out for them. And they say, do you keep this? There, you got yourself some compost. <laughs> so, uh, but I just took a little plastic spoon. And I started out with this side and just kind of scooted to one side and then just spooned it out of each one. So I'm going to be doing that as needed probably every day. So 
I'll let you guys know how this all progresses. But it's, uh, it's to, and I'm keeping, like the room is right now, it's around 73 in here. And so if it gets to be um, warmer out here, if it gets up a, much more than this, I am going to move them uh, into a cooler room because they say, you know, you can keep them longer um, in, a, in a cool room. So, and even refrigerated if you have them uh, well insulated with newspapers and, um, you know, uh, I would probably, if I, if I do end up putting any in the refrigerator, I'll probably use towels and um, I'll just let you guys know what, if, I, if there's any left to that point. But I'm just going to take and go through them. Each time I feed Sparky, I'm just going to go through the bigger ones and um, and let the, the smaller ones grow. So I think it's going to work out pretty good.